Section 21, Article 3 of the Bill of Rights says that no person shall be twice put in jeopardy of punishment for the same offense. If an act is punished by a law and ordinance, conviction or acquittal under either shall constitute a bar to another prosecution for the same act. Double jeopardy. We've heard that several times as lawyers and as laymen. The majority of people know that once you are acquitted of a crime, you can never be tried for the same crime. But what if in the same instance, you also committed another crime with different pieces of evidence? Would you be acquitted of that or will you be tried for another crime? Let us watch the story of Bertin and understand exactly what double jeopardy is. Sa mga panahon, ang pangungulila sa dating magkaibigan ang kasulukuyang hinahangad na mangyari ng isa sa matatalik na magkabarkadahan. Ating tunghaya ng kwento ng magkaibigang Berting, Lando at Pilo dito sa IMAC. Isumbong mo, aksyonan ko. Pare, hmm. eh, dagdag naman na isipan mo kaming imbitahin. Eh, Siyempre kayo pa eh, na ko yung dating samahan natin eh napalitan ko si Pare Landre eh, galing Manila eh na gawi dito ngayon. At least Salamat naman pare. Eh, Sa kaputan na ako sa inyo eh. Ito pala yung area mo. Okay naman kaso medyo maliit lang sa kaso. Okay na. Sabi ko naman pare. Sige lang balang araw pare lalaki din yang sana nga, sana mo. nga. Yeah, di ba? So, Oh, eh, eh, ano muna lang kami doon para bisita mo kami sa Manila para okay. Sige. Tama ba? Soon pare, soon. <laughs> mare, tingnan mo yung mga asawa natin. Kasaya-saya nila, no? Oo nga, Mare. Alam ko si Mare, ang tagal nyo kasi hindi nakapunta dito sa atin. Pero yan si paring Pilo, palagi yan siya dito. Kaya nga, Mare, matagal din kasi kami sa Manila. Tapos, mahirap kasi ang buhay sa Manila, Mare. Kaya, bumalik kami dito sa Jensa. Matatanda ang bago pa umalis si Lando at Linda papuntang Maynila ay may di pagkakaunawaan na ang magkaibigang Lando at Berting. Sa tagal ng pamamalagi nila sa Maynila, nagpa siyang mag-asawang Lando na bumalik sa Jensen dahil sa hirap ng buhay sa Maynila. Mahal! Ito na yung pulutan ninyo! Pasensya na at medyo natagalan. Ah, di balit natagalan. Ayan na pare. Say, saan ka na? Tulungan mo muna ako dito. Pakidala ng plato at saka baso. Opo, Nay. Nariyan na po. Isan mo, anak. Mano ka dito sa mga tito mo. Uy. Ay, kaya anak. Pare, ha? Pinaghilog na pala ng anak mo, pare. Huwag hmm. naman ganyan, pare. Naman, Tabata, sinasabi bata, ko lang na maganda pala anak ni paring Berting. Eh, maya-maya niyan. Dapat alam, alam niya na rin kasi magkaka-boyfriend na rin yan. Pagkatagalan, mabubuntis din yan. So, ganyan talaga yan, pare. pare Pagkababaya anak mo. Huwag oh, ganyan, pare. Hindi maganda yan na uh, salita, pare. Okay lang yan. Oh, tama na yan. Tama na ang biruan. Oh, mahal, ito na yung panibago niyong inumin. Salamat, mahal. Say, anak, yung yellow, pakibilisan. Nandiyan okay. na po, Nay. Pari, ang ganda talaga ni Mahal Perla, no? Kaya ako, ako ang, ako ang asawa niyong pare. Ewan ko lang talaga. <laughs> Uy, pare, hindi maganda yan. Pare, choke lang ako, pare. Okay lang yan. Okay lang kay paring Bert. Di ba, pare? Kahit sa kabila ng pangungulila mo sa mga kaibigan, Pag ang pamilya mo na ang palagay mong binabastos, masisiyahan ka pa? Yan ang nasa loob-loob ni Berting sa mga panahong ito. 
Dilingit sa kaalaman ng mga magkaibigan na si Berting ay isang retiradong sundalo. Ano ang kahantungan ng susunod na kabanata ng buhay ni Berting? <coughs> pare, lasing ka na ata pare ha. <laughs> Gusto mo lang ba kayo sa kay Mare? Loko-loko talaga to. Oh, eh. Pare, huwag ganyan pare. Pare, ano ba? Kanina ka pa. Nainis lang. Kasama natin pare. Wala yan sa kanya, okay lang yan. Huwag ganyan pare. pare. Hindi pare, parang may... Hindi maganda yan pare. May tinatago ka ng galib ba? Anong gusto mo pare ha? Kanina ka pa ha? Bakit? Huwag ganyan pare. Pare, loko-loko ka! Habang nagpapagaling si Lando sa ospital, si Berting naman ay nahuli at nasa selda na ngayon at nakakulong. Sinampahan ng kasong serious physical injury si Berting kasabay ang isang kaso na isinampa sa kanya na attempted homicide. The counsels of Berting applied a motion to squash the other cause it will fall to double jeopardy. Kasalukuyang nakakulong si Berting sa kasong serious physical injury at kakaharapin ang kaakibat na danyos sa kanyang nagawa. Double jeopardy is a legal term that means an individual cannot be tried twice for the same crime. It's a form of legal protection against over-prosecution. It ensures that if a person is acquitted of a crime, they cannot be tried again, even if new evidence is found. So what kind of crimes are subject to double jeopardy? Double jeopardy applies to all crimes, both felonies and misdemeanor. It is designed to protect an individual from being unfairly charged or convicted multiple times. But what about the cases where the evidence is overwhelming? Even in cases, where the evidence is overwhelming, double jeopardy still applies. The prosecution must prove a person's guilt beyond reasonable doubt. And if they fail to do so, then the individual is protected by double jeopardy. To reiterate clearly, jeopardy and the rule on double jeopardy. Jeopardy is the period in which person is placed when he is regularly charged with a crime before a tribunal properly organized and competent to try him. The rule on double jeopardy means that when a person is charged with an offense, the case is terminated either by conviction or acquittal or any other manner without the consent of the accused. The latter cannot be charged with the same or identical offense. There are two kinds of jeopardy. One, that no person shall be put twice in jeopardy for the same offense. Two, if an act is punished by a law and an ordinance, conviction, or acquittal under either shall constitute a bar to another prosecution for the same act. Requisites for the accused to raise the defense of double jeopardy. One, a first jeopardy must have validly attached prior to the second. 2. The first jeopardy must have been validly terminated. And 3. The second jeopardy must be for the same offense or the second offense includes or is necessarily included in the offense charged in the first information or is an attempt to commit the offense or a frustration thereof. The requisites for the first jeopardy to attach. First, there is a valid complaint of information. Second, court of competent jurisdiction. Third, arraignment. Fourth, plea. And fifth, the defendant is acquitted, convicted, 
or the case was dismissed or terminated without his express consent. The judgment should not only be final and executory, but also be promulgated before there could be a valid jeopardy. Is there an exception to the foregoing rule? There are two exceptions to the foregoing rule, and double jeopardy may attach even if the dismissal of the case was with the consent of the accused. First, if there is insufficiency of evidence to support the charge against him, and second, where there has been a reasonable delay in the proceedings in violation of the accused right to a speedy trial. Wat manahimi, karapatay ibali, subong mo, aksyonat ko. Requisites for the accused to raise the defense of double jeopardy. One, 